Just hold there for a sec. This guy's an artist. Watch and learn. And you are holding, still holding, just about ready to hold. So, well, the, fir the first scene of this film, like, really perfectly encapsulates Duncan's struggle in this movie, which is his stepdad, or his soon, maybe soon, soon to be stepdad, telling him that he's a three on a scale of one to ten. Yeah. Was that always the first scene? Or yes. was that something, okay. It was always the first yeah. scene. Yeah. Because that actual scene happened to me. That whole, like, sort of, um, that horrendous ride uh, when <laughs> my stepfather at the time took us up to our summer vacations. And we had the same thing. So we sort of always started with that. I've always liked Sam Rockwell, but he's really a revelation to me in this movie yeah. because he's, he's just li he lives this character, you know? Yeah. Was he the guy you guys pictured for this role from the beginning, or? Pretty much. I mean, I, you know, we the template when we were writing was sort of Bill Murray from Meatballs was uh, the idea. Yeah. And so then, you know, when we started thinking about cast for it, um, when Jim and I started, you know, the, the process of, that we were gonna direct the movie, he was somebody who we had always loved and admired and, and, and he had such an incredible range. And he also has the ability to play, you know, bigger than life characters, but still keep them grounded and believable. And yeah. so he was certainly, the sort of first and only person we thought of for this. Well, this script was on the blacklist, the Hollywood blacklist, back in 2007, and so this has been a long process for you guys. It was greenlit, basically, after the Oscars. You guys won the, the original screenplay Oscar for The Descendants. Was that something that you think really just pushed this movie into production, that, that Oscar win? I don't know if it was gonna happen anyway, but it definitely provided the momentum to engage the conversation again to, yeah. you know because after like an eight year journey with this script even before the blacklist you know starting from writing to the blacklist to all this stuff it had gone on this sort of roller coaster and after a while you know time sometimes makes people forget about something or they'll, they would say to us oh my god why hasn't someone made that we love that yeah. we don't want to but let me, <laughs> let me tell you about this other project we're interested in talking about right and so I feel like then weirdly the way way back got us in the door to meet about the Descendants to write ah, interesting. Uh, and get that job. Mm -hmm. And then the Descendants and, and really allowed us to come back to this. So yeah. both of them sort of fed each other. So yeah, yeah. I don't know if it was exactly the award that made it greenlit, because obviously we were still trying to get our cast together. Right. But I think at least uh, got us our foot in the door for someone to listen to us. Well, and the setting is so much fun. It's in this water park. And I imagine like after a day of shooting, were you guys able to like use the water slides and do that kind of thing? Or were you just basically too tired after the end of the, at the end of we the day? We were so too? tired. We were exhausted. And we were exhausted. But, but it was it was like working in, you know, ninety degree heat and humidity and yeah. seeing all these kids just like laughing and having the time of their lives going down these slides and all you wanted to do was just just, join them right, <laughs> you know right. but uh, we did uh, sort of towards the end of our time at the water park the um, the family that owns the water whiz allowed us to sort of take over the place at night after the park had closed and after we were done shooting and That's so cool. we nice did slide. have a blast you know we sort of mm -hmm. you know acted like teens release. again yeah for breaking entertainment news and more follow at hitvix on twitter or visit hitvix.com